Hey there, I'm Kevin Dangor of the Mozilla Labs Bespin project. Bespin is a customizable text editor that runs in your web browser. And we're really excited about the Bespin 0.8 release because it's the biggest release since our first Bespin embedded release last November. So I wanted to take a few minutes to just show you some of the new features that are here in Bespin 0.8. All right, we're going to take a look at what is new in Bespin Embedded 0.8. You can go to mozillalabs.com slash Bespin. That's the project homepage. And under User Resources, you can see Bespin Embedded Downloads. If you click on that, uh, we're going to get a customizable package. Bespin Embedded Customizable. Uh, 0 0.8 is the release that we're talking about today. So once you have that, you can uncompress it with your favorite uncompressor. And we're going to be looking at a couple different things. Um, one of the things I'm going to point out is you, you need Python uh, for this. Um, you will need Python uh, 2.6 ideally because that doesn't have any other requirements. Uh, Max already include this. And I'm going to open up sample.json for editing. Sample.json is a manifest file for our dry ice build tool, which is written in Python. That's why you need Python. So what Dry Ice does is it basically takes this manifest file, looks at the plugins you want and everything, the configuration you want, and it builds up your own custom Bespin JavaScript that's compressed and everything, um, or at least it can be compressed. And then you can drop that right into your web app um, very easily. So we're going to run Dry Ice now uh, with that manifest file. And we're going to use the new server mode. Dash S says start up a server. And we're going to tell it port 8080 is the port we want and we'll point it to sample.json. All right, so the server is now running on port 8080. Let's take a look at that. Okay, and here it is. This is uh, our best bin. It, the server is doing nothing more than just giving you a very straightforward, here is best bin, so you can take a look at it uh, and make sure it's got the plugins you want and the functionality you want. Um, something that's new in this version, which you can see, is I can press tab and end at a block um, or unindent the block. Uh, that's a neat new feature. Um, of course, every text editor has that, but it's great to see this in a web browser um, and much, much better than what you get out of text area, right? So um, let's take a look at what else is new in uh, Bespin 0 0.8. This one is one of our most requested features to include the command line. Uh, people have wanted to include Bespin's neat command line interface um, right there in their embedded builds. That wasn't possible previously, but now it's this its this simple. You just say, add the command line plugin um, to the plugins in the manifest file. And you can see that we now have a command line down at the bottom here. The help command works and everything. So one of the, uh, one of the things here is if I press command J, that's not getting us to the command line, which is what it does on the Bespin server. Um, and the reason is that that command J command is actually implemented in a plugin called UI commands. Um, now, UI commands is not built in because we didn't tell it to build that. Um, I'm going to show off another new feature here, dynamic plugins. Basically, dynamic plugins are plugins that are loaded dynamically. So we can say that we want the UI commands plugin to be loaded dynamically. So only when the plugin code is actually needed will it load it up. And we'll be able to see this in action here uh, by opening Firebug. So you can see I've got the net panel open in Firebug. And I'll reload my page, so it's going to rebuild Bespin. Okay, so it's rebuilt Bespin now. Um, and now if I press Command J, what you'll see is that it's going to load the UI commands plugin and it's going to put me on the command line, so it'll all, it'll all work seamlessly. So I press Command J, you can see it put me on the command line up there. And you can also see uh, down here in the net tab of Firebug a get UI commands. So it did actually load the UI commands plugin on the fly. So that's pretty cool. You can load up, you can have a whole bunch of commands available to your users then and not have them all loaded into the memory at once uh, or bloating the size of your initial load, which is, which is very nice. One of the other things that's new in Bespin 0 0.8 is themes. So I'm going to load the white theme plugin in here. And I'm going to use uh, another new feature of Dry Ice um, and Bespin called the App Config. Um, there's actually a whole bunch of configuration possible with AppConfig here. Um, but right now I'm just going to change the settings uh, to set the theme to white. Okay, so we're going to load up a white-themed Bespin. Let's get rid of the net tab. We don't need that now. 
And here we go. It is a white themed Bespin. Um, it's pretty easy to make your own themes. One of the important things I want to point out here is that the command line theme has changed also. So the appearance of the command line is, is matching the whole overall theme. So you can have a theme that styles plugins and their user interface they provide, that styles the editor, changes the syntax highlighting colors. Um, all these things can be controlled by themes. Themes also have the full power of uh, less, which is basically a CSS extension. Um, so you can use you can use that to basically uh, change well all kinds of aspects, sizes of things, positions of things. Um, but from the simplest standpoint, you can actually go ahead and change colors of both plugins and uh, and the editor. Okay, so now for this next uh, little bit, I want to bring this back um, to what we started off with. So let's remove the extra stuff we've added here. And we're just going to go to the command line. And I want to show off uh, what it looks like when you're actually compressing your JavaScript here. So I'm going to point it at the uh, Google Closure compiler, which is included in the customizable package. You don't need to download that separately. Um, this is all just the, the standard stuff that you get with a customizable package. So now I'm, I'm rerunning that build uh, and it's compressing the output. So we will end up with minified output, uh, which is you know obviously much smaller and that's what you'll generally want it to deploy to your server. Okay, let's take a look. Um, Bestbit embedded.js is 138k. Now I should note that there, there's no longer one JavaScript file. There are three because we use workers and workers need um, some sub separate scripts to do their things. So we've got 138k for Bestbit embedded, 149k for Bestbit main, and 12k uh, for Bestbit worker. In total, that's about 300k, which is actually uh, much under half the size of the last version. Bestbit embedded uh, 073 um, was much much bigger. So we're we're happy with how that looks. Um, but there's one more useful thing to know about this, and that is this option in your manifest file. You can say jQuery colon global, and what this is going to do when we rebuild is it's basically telling Bespin that you already have jQuery on your page. So if you already have jQuery on your page, Bespin will build uh, and it will use the global jQuery rather than using one that it builds in itself. So what that resulted in is Bespin embedded.js is now 65k. The other two scripts are the same size they were before. So uh, that's about a 75k improvement, which means that um, Bespin embedded is now 225k um, if you already have jQuery on your page. Once you gzip it, it gets down to about 65k. So uh, Bespin is uh, considerably smaller in 08 than it was in the previous version. And this is you know a fully customizable, pluggable, a uh, themable editor. So we're we're pretty happy with where we're at there. Um, and the, you know, features wise, uh, there's a whole lot of new things in Bespin. Um, and I just wanted to show off a handful of things. Thank you for watching.